Hey, good afternoon, college coaches. This is Coach Anthony Williams, founder and CEO of Connected Athletics. We are a startup company based in Austin, Texas. Uh, we're focused on helping student athletes connect with other student athletes as they build out their network and also having them connect with college coaches as they go through their recruiting process. And then most importantly, we're focused on helping student athletes successfully transition from high school to college and then either a career in the NFL or a career in their major. Uh, we have another exciting prospect with us on the show this afternoon. Blake Jones, a class of 22 defensive end from Brenham High School here in Central Texas. He's 6'1", 206 pounds. He has a six point, uh, sorry, a 3.5 GPA. Blake, how are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing great. And I want to thank you for coming on the podcast and, and sharing your story. You know, obviously what I tell student athletes as I work with Coach Jay at all the camps we do, uh, because of COVID-19, a lot of coaches are watching uh, the, your huddle video, which is great, but that's only a third of who you are. The other part is find out whether or not these, these uh, prospects have the academics uh, to, to, to qualify to play in college, uh, also understand their recruiting process and if they're interested in going in and out of state uh, and what they're looking for to get the best education they can get. And then lastly, they want to understand uh, the athletes and who they are personally to make sure they're a fit from a chemistry standpoint and uh, make sure that they're fit in the program. So we're gonna cover all that in this, in this interview. And I think this will definitely help you as you start the season, uh, move you further down the recruiting process. So I'm looking forward to learning more about you going forward. Let's jump right in and, and start with the academics. The most important thing, you've got a strong 3.5 GPA. Tell us about the importance that you put on your academics. Uh, I think academics are pretty important because you need to be, have a good GPA to go anywhere go to college and yeah and I'm 109 out of 400 in my class right now and I hopefully I get that up a little higher okay. and yeah that's, that's a good start tell us um what are some of your favorite subjects that drive your your strong GPA um uh, I think science is probably my favorite because I like doing all the experiments and just all the cool stuff they do in, in that class okay is there a certain teacher, tutor, counselor, AP at your school that you want to shout out that's helped you uh, be so stupid? I think I'll shout out my English teacher from last year, Miss Clark, because she was really cool and she helped me out a lot throughout the school year. Okay, awesome. And then, Blake, I know you still got two more years of high school, but have you and your family started to think about what possible major you might choose when you get to college? Uh, I was thinking about um, possibly – trying to um, have a business major okay, and try to make my own business someday. Okay. Is there a specific part of business uh, with me having my MBA, thank God, through football? Uh, is there a specific part of, of, of business you're looking for, whether it be accounting or sales or marketing or finance, or do you know yet? Uh, I don't really know yet. Probably like marketing or finance, one of those. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Um, Tell us, you know, being a good student athlete means sacrifice. Uh, obviously, not enough time to hang out with your with your friends. Tell us, tell these coaches one thing that you had to sacrifice to keep a high GPA and to be a successful student athlete on the field. Uh, I, I had to sacrifice a lot of my free time to do all yeah. that, and a lot of sleep too. Yeah, absolutely. Well, great. Well, hey, so um, uh, you're going in your junior year here. Uh, you probably uh, got your uh, SAT or AT uh, watered out because of COVID-19. Do you have a scheduled date for your next S SAT or ACT? Uh, yes, sir. My ACT I'm going to take December 15th this year. Okay, perfect. Good. So that'll let coaches know when to expect those results. That's great to hear. And I'll be towards the end of the season based on what we're looking at right now. Hey, let's switch over to uh, recruiting a little bit. Tell us about um, – as you go into your junior season, what do you consider your strengths and weaknesses as, as a uh, defensive end? Uh, I think my strengths are that I feel like I'm very coachable and that um, I'll do what coaches want me to do. And, and I just listen to what the coaches have to say and I re remember all the plays and stuff like that. And okay. my own weaknesses, probably my technique a little bit, I need to work on that. And, Okay. 
Um, tell me a little bit about, um, you know, what do you think sets you apart from other defensive ends in your class? What do you um, bring? I feel like I bring a lot of, um, like, I don't really try to make an excuse for anything. I just kind of try to go in on every rep and just try my hardest. Okay. So I feel like I bring, bring more than anyone. Talk about the importance of being a defensive end in that first step. You know, uh, myself and Coach Jay were always working with kids on having that explosive first step and really being an explosive player off the edge and having a big impact uh, in the passing game. Tell us a little bit about your technique as a defensive end. Uh, I feel like I'm pretty fast off the ball being a DN. And my technique, I just need to work on my moves and work on just – getting through through the line a little better and using my hands. Okay. Are you more comfortable with your hand on the ground as a DN, or can you also play in a stand-up outside linebacker position? Um, I think I'm more comfortable with my hand on the ground, but I can play with my hand off the ground too. Okay. You know, going into your junior year, you've got pretty good size now. You're six foot one, 205 pounds. Uh, what do you think your height and weight will be by the time you graduate from Brown? Um, hopefully I'll be – possibly 6'2", and trying to get to, like, 245, maybe 230. Wow. Okay. That's what I'm trying to so, get to. So you're probably hitting the weights pretty hard here this offseason to add more weight. Uh, what's gonna, What's your ideal uh, weight going into this season? What would you like to be here in the next month or so? Um, probably 215, 220. So I'm, okay. I'll be trying to get to that. All right. Sounds good. Um, tell us, you know, college coaches want to understand from a prospect uh, what their relationship was like with their high school coaching staff. Tell us a little bit about your relationship with your position coach and your head coach there at Brenham. Uh, I feel like I have a pretty good relationship with them. I talk to them all the time, and they're always helping me out. And, yeah, and I, I work out with one right now four times a week, too. And Okay. Tell us from a recruiting standpoint, who are you hearing from? Who do you want to hear from? And what's been your recruiting experience so far? I know you're still very early going into junior year, but tell us what it's been like. Um, it's been pretty good. I was, uh, I'm not really being a recruiter right now, but hopefully I will soon. And i like to hear from anybody. I'll go anywhere that will let me play ball. Okay. Are you – so do you have a criteria in mind? Would you like to stay in-state? Are you okay with leaving the state of Texas? Um, what other what other criteria uh, are you looking for? Obviously, your major, but what else are you looking for to help you decide which school to commit to? Um, I'm fine with going out of state. I mean, I it'd be fun to just see another place, be in another environment, and yeah, I'll be fine with that. And yeah, okay. Tell me a little bit about um, you know who are gonna who's gonna be involved in helping you make your decision on where you'll uh, commit to uh, when you do go to college here in a couple years? Uh, definitely my mom because she's helped me out a lot. Mm -hmm. And probably my grandpa too because he's always calling me and asking me about football all the time. Okay. And do you plan on being an early enrollee or are you going to stay your full four years in, in high school before you make the transition to college? I'm going to definitely stay for the four full years. And okay. Good stuff. Um, is there a certain pay player in college or NFL that you padded your game off of? Who's one of your favorite DNs that you're trying to emulate? Uh, my favorite DN, probably J.J. Watt. I just like okay. how he plays and how fast, he, how fast he is off the ball. And just, yeah, he's a good player. Okay. Um, you know, college coaches uh, understand that, you know, being a successful student athlete means overcoming adversity. Uh, tell these coaches – about a time in your life, either personally or dealing with football, where you had to overcome some type of adversity? Um, I'd say one time when I had to overcome some adversity was when we had, like, a football game last year, like, second round playoffs, and we were down a couple couple points, and we had to just come back and just overcome all that. And we won the game, and we went to third third round. Okay, good stuff. Um, tell me, when did you start playing football? What age did you start playing football? And then when did you fall in love with playing football? 
my first time playing football was like it's in middle school a long time ago it's for this little league we had in Brenham and I it was fun but then I think I fell in love with it like maybe seventh eighth grade around there and then I just couldn't stop playing it was there a certain age or time when you said hey I'm I think I can play this game at the college level what, what year was that has it happened for you yet Mm. I think maybe last year when I started playing. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I just felt like I could. Hopefully I can. Okay. Uh, obviously, Brenham's a very strong program with a lot of good athletes in it and a strong story in history. Uh, tell these coaches about some of your other teammates that you think should be recruited uh, and tell us who their name, what their position, and what their names are. Um, I think some of the people that should be recruited is – Probably Javon Dixon. He's our running back this year. He's pretty solid. And thank um, Cam Richardson. He's um, wide receiver. And uh, probably other one, probably Eric Hemfield. He's um, DB at our school. Yeah, Eric, and, big time. I know the name very well. Hey, what other sports tech do you play at Brenham? You've got good size. You're a good athlete. Are you, do you do basketball, baseball, track? What other sports do you do at Brenham? Um, I did track for a little bit. I used to like try to do the jumps and stuff. And then mm -hmm. I just did it because it would make me go after school and go run and just extra work. Okay. And then what, uh, what have you learned from track and jumping, for example, that has helped you make a better football player? I think it's maybe be a better football player because it's just more competition. It gets me more used to being – university and all kinds of this helps all, all around okay tell us uh blake how do you define leadership and how do you plan on leading your team this year as a junior uh, i plan on leading my team by just being the best player i can be and just telling everybody just to keep working and try their hardest and just be good in school too and yeah just lead everybody in the right direction College coaches love players that have a real high competitive spirit. Uh, tell these coaches uh, a little bit about your competitive spirit. How competitive are you when you, when you play football? I am pretty competitive because when when I feel like someone's outworking me or beating me, I just want to just beat them even more. And I just love being competitive. And I don't like to lose, so, yeah. Okay. Tell us, uh, you know, there are different learning styles, both in the classroom and uh, being a coachable football player. What would you describe as your best learning style? Are you more of a verbal, visual, or hands-on type of learning style? Uh, I would say I'm more visual and hands-on because I just like doing it. And then if I mess up, I can just do it again and just keep getting better at it. And I'll learn how to do it like that. And I can learn visual, too, just by looking. So. Tell these coaches, um, how do you – what does a typical week of preparation look like for you during the season? Are you a film guy? Do you like to spend time with your coaches or your players after practice? Tell us what you normally do to get ready for games each week. Um, I like to work on my coaches a lot, get my technique down, and get the plays down, everything for that – coming up for that game. I like to watch film, too. Film – helps out a lot so okay. I know what I'm up against cool tell us uh, a little bit about your coaching style which way do you prefer to be coached by coaches do you mind being yelled at and challenged or are you more of a hey talk to me in a calm voice man to man tell me what I did wrong and I'll go fix it which which style are you I would say more of a man to man calm type yeah. okay and is that uh, something you're being that's being done right now at Brenham uh, with your position coach? Does he understand that about you? Um, yes, sir. He does. Good. That's good stuff. Um, as we switch over here, tell me a little bit about, um, you know, when you're playing the game um, and you guys have had a great run here at Brenham, uh, what is the competition like as you get deeper into the playoffs? Uh, talk about the speed of the game, the mental aspect of it. What do you do each week to prepare as you get deeper in the playoffs? Um, it, it definitely gets harder every week going to the playoffs. And 
it's way faster. Every game feels like it's like way faster than normal. And yeah, we just gotta practice a whole bunch to prepare for that. Okay. Um, a question that coaches will ask you, it's a simple one, but I'll ask it now for them. Why do you think you can play at the next level? I think I can play next level because I always work hard. I try my best every day, every practice, and every game. And, and yeah, I just always try to do my best. Okay. And I feel like they can count on me. All right, let's switch over to finish up here. Tell us a little bit about your personal life. Tell us about your family. Uh, you mentioned your mom and your grandpa earlier. Uh, tell us what they do, and are you an only child? Are you the oldest? Are you the youngest? Tell us about your family background. Um, well, I live with my mom and my sister. I have a sister, a younger sister, and she does cheer and all kinds of stuff like that. And my mom, she just works for the oil and gas and stuff like that. And okay. yeah, tell tell me tell me a little bit about the importance you put on being a, a great big brother to your uh, younger sister. Um, it's really important to me because I gotta um, lead, lead my sister in the right direction and just be a good brother. Okay, tell us what do you like to do when you're not working out or playing football? What are some of your interests away from it? Do you like to hunt, fish, be out in the water? I mean, what do you do in your spare time? Um, I definitely like to hunt. Not so much fishing, but I like to hunt all the time. And, yeah, it's like to hunt. I like to do sporting clays, too. It's like the little thing where you shoot the those targets and the, that fly. That's mm -hmm. pretty fun, too. I do that a lot. When you go hunting, what, what do you normally hunt? Are you a big uh, are you a duck guy? Are you a turkey guy? Are you a boar guy? What are you hunting? I like to hunt pigs, ducks, white-tailed deer, literally anything. Okay, good stuff. And then obviously, you know, uh, social media is a big part of recruiting. Uh, tell these coaches which apps do you spend most of your time with. Are you a Twitter guy, TikTok, Instagram, what? Uh, I would say I'm a Instagram guy, really an Instagram guy. And I'm on Twitter a lot too, but I have to say I'm more of an Instagram guy. Okay. And then tell us, you know, also personally, what are some of your favorite artists? So what kind of music do you like to listen to and who are some of your favorite artists? Uh, I usually like listen to rap, and I like I like a lot of the rappers like Travis Scott and Kanye and all of them. They're pretty pretty good. Okay, those are probably my favorites. Uh, let's move uh, fast forward to this upcoming season pregame. Uh, what type of player are you? Are you the one that's bouncing around the walls and trying to get get everybody all fired up, or are you more quiet in the corner, kind of thinking about your responsibilities for the game? Which one are you? I think I'm more of the quiet one, just kind of sit in the corner, thinks about the game, and just – I just try to motivate myself before the game. Just the, I'm just real quiet before the game. Okay. Um, tell us, you know, we're trying to come out of COVID-19 right now and get back outside to living life. When that does happen, what's your shoe game looking like? Are you a big shoe guy or no? Oh, uh, yes, I'm a very big shoe guy. I, I wear Yeezys and human races and all them all the time. Okay. And Ultra Boost. I'm probably going to be rocking me some, probably some Yeezys. Okay. All right. I feel you on that. All right. Um, tell me a little bit about, um, I call this the, the dream scenario. Let's say everything works out three to four years in college and you're at the NFL draft uh, in New York City. Who is sitting at your table waiting for the commissioner to call your name? Who's with you? Uh, I'd say probably my mom and my sister. And probably my grandpa too, and I'd say my my grandma too. Okay, I like it. Taking care of family. Tell me somebody outside of your family that's had a positive influence in your life. Um, I'd say two of my friends, um, Levi and my other friend Wills. They've been a positive influence in my life, helped me through a lot, and mm -hmm. yeah, just okay. helped me All a right. lot. Tell me, uh, what are you doing to give back to your community, Blake? Um, are you a part of your church or Boys and Girls Club? Or what are you doing to give back? Um, usually, I just try to volunteer for, like, anything, really, that like for the school or just anything that I can do for anybody. I just – I'll do it. 
Okay. Well, I had to like that answer. Um, once again, give me a, I like to have kid, a player uh, give their own uh, grades on themselves as a player. Uh, as a former DN linebacker myself, give me a grade of either zero being bad, five being great on the following things. Uh, give, grade yourself on your stance. Stance? I'd say my stance is probably – oh, you said one to five, right? Yeah, one to five. Five being uh, the best. I'd say probably like a, a four for my stance. Okay. Tell me about uh, how would you grade yourself in holding down the edge? Mm, holding on the edge, mm, probably put a – maybe like a three. Okay. Something going to work on? Okay. What about uh, how would you grade yourself against the run? The run, I'd probably put that as a five, the run. Okay. I, I just love going through the line. Yeah. And then uh, grade yourself in uh, when you're in pass rush, when in, in passing situations. Pass rush, I would put a four because I still need to work on a little bit on that. But okay. four is four is probably, yeah. Okay. Uh, what would you give your grade as far as physicality, getting off blocks and making great tackles? Uh, I'll put that probably, probably as five, because okay. I can get off, get off a tack, get off like a um, tackle pretty good, or a, uh, for, um, something, like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, the lineman, lineman, I can get off lineman pretty good. Okay. What about having explosive hands and strong upper body? What would you grade yourself there? Um, uh, I'd say maybe of body, probably like a three. I still need to get that. Get that up a little bit right now. Just trying in the weight room. Okay, those are all fair grades. I like I like kids that are realistic. Hey, most guys I interview, they give themselves fives across the board. I look at their film and go, "You're not a five, but that's that's fine. I know that you're honest about that. Hey, as we finish up here, um, let's talk about what is your life going to look like, Blake, whenever football's over, whether it's after college or after the NFL. What is it you want to look like? Do you, what do you want to be doing? Do you want to be married? What is your life going to look like when you're finally done with the game of football? Um, I feel like probably I would like to be doing what I love, probably. So what else that besides football, probably like a business, my own business, or I probably have some kids and probably married. But okay. yeah, that's thought probably what would happen. All right. Uh, we talked about earlier, uh, finish up this interview with what we call the elevator pitch. Tell these coaches uh, to start why they should recruit you. Uh, I think they should recruit me because I feel like I'm always always there on time, always there for anything they um, need, and they can count on me for anything. And I, I feel like I always try to try my best, and I just – and my academics are pretty good, and I won't – I just – yeah, that's – Okay. Well, man, let me tell you, Blake, I'm looking forward to seeing you play uh, this fall. I'll definitely make it out to a game. Continue to be safe with this COVID-19 stuff. And I know you guys will be open the season here pretty soon. But if you need anything, let me know. And, uh, and good luck, okay? All right. Thank you. All right. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye. Bye. -bye.